Shannon Miller is a highly sought after speaker, author, sports an uh, analyst, health advocate, and a cancer survivor. That's a lot of stuff. But she's also one of the greatest athletes of all time. This month marks 25 years since she made the record as the most decorated Olympic gymnast in U.S. history, male or female, seven Olympic medals at the 1996 Games. And she's the only female athlete to be inducted into the Olympic Hall of Fame, not once, but twice. It is an honor to welcome Shannon Miller. Welcome her, please. Well, Shannon, what a great time for you to be here. The Olympics are going on in Tokyo, but a little different kind of setting with nobody in the stands to watch. Absolutely. And, and I know these athletes, they're so excited just to be there. It started, they get to compete after an extra year of training and everything that they've been through. But I will say one of my favorite things about walking into the Olympics is walking through that curtain into that arena with thousands upon thousands of people screaming and cheering. Atlanta, the Atlanta games were mm. so loud. I'd never heard anything that loud. And uh, it was just such an amazing memory. But I know these athletes, they know that we're cheering for them from home. The training to become a champion, I, I can't even begin to fully comprehend. I mean, you've got to devote yourself to a level that very few people are willing to do. How many years of preparation before you got to the Olympics? Oh goodness, um, I started gymnastics when I was five. Mm. Like, like most kids, I was tearing up my parents' furniture <laughs> and they just wanted to get me out of the house. Um, but I fell in love with the sport. So yeah. for me, it, it never started as an Olympic dream. I never dreamed about a gold medal. I just wanted to learn the next skill, the next challenge. And so I just fed off of that. And year after year, I just trained a little bit more and a little bit more. And then uh, by the age of 15, I was, going to my first Olympic Games. <laughs> that, that's a, and you were winning gold medals at age 15 in <laughs> gymnastics. Competing at that level against the best of the world, every country sends their very best athletes. And here you were standing on that podium. Describe for us that feeling of being in the center podium, hearing the national anthem, and knowing the whole world is watching you. I think at the time, it was just so surreal. I think I was probably too stunned to cry, too, mm. too overwhelmed to, to really even grasp the meaning of what had had, I had accomplished and what our team had accomplished. In 92, I came home with five medals and I was back in the gym three days later because I just wanted to do gymnastics. I really didn't comprehend the, the medal count. And it was a lot different back then, no social media, basically no internet. <laughs> so you didn't really get that sense that all eyes were on you until much later. Ah, well, they were, <laughs> and, and, and in many ways still are. And since that time, I mean, you've had uh, some great, wonderful moments, but you also had a battle with cancer that you celebrate 10 years of being free from. Uh, was that an even bigger battle in some ways than the battle to get to the Olympics? Oh, my cancer journey is by far the hardest thing I have mm. ever had to do. Uh, this summer does mark the, my 10 year anniversary of being cancer free from ovarian cancer. And for me, thank you. <laughs> you deserve that applause for, you know, you just encouraged a lot of cancer survivors and cancer patients who said, if cancer was harder than the Olympics, then I want my gold medal. I <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think it's so important. And when I went through my journey, I really, I came from a very shy childhood. Mm. I mean, having me up here speaking, it would not have happened. But for me, it was so important to find a way to use my voice to help others that were going through this cancer experience. And even more so now, helping women, not to leave out the men, I don't no. know as much about you, but <laughs> to, to really encourage women to make their health a priority, to get to their exams and screenings and yeah. really not feel guilty about making their health um, something that the top of the to-do list mm. and not so quite so far down on that list. Shannon, what a great story. What an incredible journey you've had. And it's long from being over. You're inspiring and encouraging people. Please keep it up. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to make you jump over the couch or anything <laughs> like that tonight. It doesn't work well in the yeah. dress. <laughs> <laughs> great to have you here. Thank you Thank so you very much. Very much. To keep up with Shannon and all the incredible work that she is doing, go to shannonmiller.com. You can also follow her on social media.